Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456 and welcome to my annual DLC video. Every single DLC I do a video like this where I basically show you guys everything that is in the DLC, all of the new content, and then in another video I show you guys all the new features and stuff like that, all the hidden the hidden updates kind of that come along with this DLC. And I have a few already, but I will be sharing those in another video. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the new content, all the new outfits, all the new uh, vehicles, uh, croquettes, all those different types of things, and all the different modifications that you can put on those. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, go ahead and leave a like on it. I, did, I think the last one we did on, on this got like 5,000 likes, something ridiculous like that. So if we can beat that, that would be absolutely amazing. And be sure to share this with your friends if they're wondering what is in the latest GT Online update. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the update. And let's jump into it first with the Swift Helo. So here's the Swift Helo right here. There's actually two different options for it. There's the Swift Helo Classic, and then there's kind of like the upgraded version. Now the Classic version is going to cost you 1.5 million, and the upgraded version is going to cost you 1.6 million. Now the 1.6 million version is this version right here. It looks almost exactly the similar, except that it just has this little paint job on it. Obviously, if you want this paint job, you can pay the extra 100,000. If not, go ahead and buy just the uh, classic version. I personally prefer the classic version. I don't think the the, the other one looks too cool. But uh, anyway, it's just a personal preference. I'm showing you both of them right here. And uh, on the marketplace, you can actually tell which one you want to get, and then you can get them from there. So anyway, that is the first thing. Let's go ahead and move on to the second new vehicle. All right, so next up is the Western Bestra. This one is going to run you $1.15 million. This is the green jet that we saw basically in the little trailer and this is very very cool however it is very very expensive as well it is a 1.15 million dollar and it is a pegasus vehicle so basically you buy it from pegasus you can order it and it'll all spawn at the nearest airfield or uh, Trevor's airport whatever it is that the nearest one is obviously it's going to be los santos airport more often than not but it is worth 1.15 million dollars this entire gta dlc is going to run you a whole bunch of money i actually spent 100 dollars of real money to actually put this all basically be able to buy everything that's in this dlc it's very very expensive and I didn't have enough money to buy even half of it So I hope you guys do end up enjoying this because I did spend a lot of money to make this video Which sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, anyway here it is the Western Vestra and uh, it's very very cool And that is about it. There's really no special fe features for it. It's just kind of like a new jet It's kind of like a stunt style jet and it is pretty quick and it turns pretty fast So it's very very cool and let's move on to the next vehicle So next up we have the Buckingham Milljet one thing that I told you guys in my trailer breakdown yesterday that we were definitely going to be getting and you guys didn't believe me But here it is the US Air Force Buckingham Milljet. Now this one is pretty darn expensive. It is going to run you 1.7 million dollars if you want this thing, but it is, I, I think, by far the best vehicle out of all of the ones that we got in this update, simply because it can hold 16 people. This is going to be great for live streams. This is going to be a whole bunch of fun for just taking everyone to the military base, just flying people around. The entire lobby can fit inside of this one jet, and that is definitely going to be the best feature for me. So uh, other than that, there's really nothing too special about it. It just kind of flies like a uh, 747, maybe something from single player has landing gears there's really nothing else special about it however the 16 player feature is definitely the thing that's going to make it uh, my favorite thing out of this entire dlc so definitely 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 check check this one out if you want to see it and uh anyway let's move on to the next thing so next up we have the inverto coquette classic now basically there are two different versions the inverto coquette classic and the inverto coquette classic topless which is kind of a mouthful but the coquette classic is going to run you six hundred and sixty five thousand dollars and the coquette classic topless is going to run you six hundred and ninety five thousand now this is not the most expensive vehicle in the entire world however fully upgraded it is very very fast I'm kind of showing you guys some of the visual upgrades that you can put on it obviously it has still the engine transmission brakes everything like that all the normal upgrades but the uh, visual upgrades are the kind of ones I'm showing off here but overall it is a very very fast vehicle and here's a little footage of me driving it around definitely 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 recommend uh, buying this one just simply for its speed and also it is just a really really fun one to drive around it's kind of like one of those slanted cars where you can kind of drive it at cars and then cars will bounce off your hood things like that it's very very cool and I definitely recommend this vehicle and it is a little bit expensive but it def definitely not 1.7 million dollars like the Buckingham Milljet but anyway let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the DLC so next up in the DLC we have the parachute customizations for me this is one of my favorite parts and unfortunately there's a little bit of bad stuff that go along with the weapons in the part of this DLC but we'll get to that in just a second anyway there's now a primary parachute a reserve parachute a parachute smoke and a parachute bags category so the first off the the thing that you choose first of the primary primary parachute and the reserve parachute are what the parachute actually looks like. You can choose all of these different things and just uh, apply them to your parachute. This is what it looks like when it actually deploys. This is what you see from a bird's eye view. This is what uh, you can change. So anyway, you can change it for your reserve parachute, your normal parachute. You can have them both be the same, both be different, and uh, you can just kind of choose whatever you want from there. Now, uh, this, the parachute trail is uh, basically exactly the same. You just hold down A to do that. And the parachute bag is the very, very cool one. As you can see, here are all the different countries. They added in a ton of 
different countries for this. And if you don't see your country here, I'm very, very sorry because there's definitely a whole lot. I'm guessing these are like the, the best selling countries, the most popular countries where people play GTA. And so you can choose your favorite country. I kind of wish they had this out for the World Cup. And uh, unfortunately, they didn't. But anyway, it's very, very cool. And the other piece of bad information is that they removed the musket from GTA Online. You can no longer buy the musket ammo. You can no longer use the musket. I'm not sure why they did this at all, just simply because the musket was one of my favorite things to do. And uh, I have no idea why they would even like think about removing it. So uh, there's no more musket. Unfortunately, you can no longer use it. But the, definitely the parachutes are a really, really neat addition. And I do enjoy these in the, in the uh, GTA Online update. So getting into some of the aesthetics, this is definitely the coolest thing in this DLC aesthetically for me, and that is the new GTA Online outfit for this flight suit. It's just so, so cool. It is gonna run you around $50,000, and you can actually buy some of this stuff separately and uh, kind of just get the shoes, get the outfit, get everything, get everything but the mask, get the only the mask, and here's another thing that you can get from this DLC, the flight cap, and unfortunately, I could not put this on my own character because I'm in the cheater's pool, but you can get the flight cap, you can get different pieces of this flight suit, and unfortunately, there's no like army pants or anything like that that you can get that we thought we were going to be able to get whenever we saw the trailer they included a lot of stuff in the trailer that they did not end up releasing there's no new tattoos there's no new actions there's no new mask or anything like that but uh, i guess i mean you can't really complain at the end of the day it is a free dlc even if i didn't spend a hundred dollars on it but anyway let's go ahead and check out the rest of the stuff that is included so next up in this dlc is the actual flight school dlc itself you can actually take the flight school take all of the classes and apparently the payouts for these are pretty darn good if you get a higher gold medal maybe something like that you can earn around $50,000 from the 10th mission from the follow leader. It's very, very fun apparently, and I haven't had a chance to do it yet. I'll probably be doing it later today on live stream. If you guys want to go follow my live stream, I've been uh, just following for, or live streaming rather, for hours and hours and hours. I'm actually live streaming right now to about 1,500 people. So you've, if you guys want to uh, go ahead and follow the live stream, that'd be very, very much appreciated. But anyway, here are the rest of them. You can collect flags, you can follow the leader. Very, very neat, and you can try to beat the world records while they are relatively easy to beat. So that is the second last thing. Let's move into the last thing that was included in this DLC. So last up in this DLC is actually the new apartment interiors that they updated, even though it is an interior that we've seen before. You can check them out on the Dynasty website. There's four different new apartments that basically have updated interiors. You can check them out for yourself, even though I'm showing you right now. It's basically just four, four apartments that did not have interiors before that now have these, or just they, their old interiors were updated, updated to this interior. So it's really nothing new. It's really nothing that neat or special or anything like that. But that is a going to a about wrap up this DLC guys if you guys did enjoy this video and you do want to see more like it go ahead and leave a like on this video that's all I ask in return make sure you go follow my live stream in the description down below we had a ton of fun today we actually reached 20,000 followers and uh, that's just absolutely amazing so anyway guys my name is noj456 thank you so so much for watching thank you so much for checking out my videos make sure you subscribe for some later videos where I kind of go in more depth with this DLC and see kind of like the, the nitpicky kind of things that they added in but anyway guys my name is noj456 and I'll see you in the next one goodbye